Hello there, I'm Tommy. In my last video about uh, Nikon P1000, I dipped my toes into angular resolution limit. And today I'm going to go a bit deeper into that because, again, I don't get it. There's a big plot hole somewhere. I live in Norway, here. And I can see the stars just above the horizon, here. Just above the horizon. And I guess at the flat Earth model, the stars are quite a bit smaller than the sun. So I can see small dots of light 14,000 miles away, just above the horizon. And I can see Polaris up here. And today, actually, I don't care if I see it at 60, which is reality, or 72 degrees, which is the flat Earth model. I don't care. I see Polaris somewhere up here. But there's a problem because I can't see the sun in between here. Stars are all over the place. And at my, the last time I used this model, I showed you the angle between the summer uh, midnight sun and the winter midday sun here. It's just a couple of degrees. So I should be able to see that sun here. Or is it a razor sharp uh, edge between night and day? So the small stars here, stars all over, but no sun. Because of the angular resolution limit. Then why can't people uh, climbs Mount Everest, see absolutely everything. Because they can also see stars just above the horizon at well over 16,000 miles away. And they can see Polaris somewhere up here. But they still can't see the sun in the night here. But what they should have been able to see is Burj Khalifa at night. Or especially at uh, when you have um, fireworks at uh, New Year's Eve here. This is the best size I could get, Burj Khalifa. This is uh, in this scale really small. But people on um, Mount Everest should be able to see Burj Khalifa at night. So if I can see the stars but not the sun because of angular resolution limit or whatever, can you then make the calculations needed for me to see what I see? And as I had in my uh, reality check video, all these formulas needed must be the same, one and the same, because we don't see in different formulas for every, whatever we look at. You need to use the same formula for this sun to appear where it is in relationship to where it should be on the flat Earth model. And this changes all over to the day and also from Mount Everest. So if you can use whatever formula you like, just use one to match Polaris, the sun, stars with the angular resolution because I can see the stars here and behind here but no sun. Can I ma make that match please? Thank you for watching. Bye.